show you previously before actually talking to the camera my reel starts in the morning in fact didn't I do that yesterday <laughs> I might have also done that in yesterday's yesterday's vlog but as always this morning started with sitting on the sofa with my coffee and my two boys editing yesterday's vlog I had four <laughs> hours of footage to edit oh my goodness so the vlog that I've just edited this morning was the picking up the Christmas tree and the summer mix vlog oh my goodness I think that's the longest I have ever spent editing I think it took me two and a half hours to edit it down and even then I only managed to get it down to 50 minutes so I'm not doing very well on um, shortening the vlogs but I hope you don't mind I hope you watch all the way to the end because that is not gonna lie a really <laughs> really great vlog I'm struggling to keep up with everyone's vlogmases. I was just watching Amelia's while um, doing my makeup. I've decided to go for a festive red lip today. And this is really, I'm using the red lip as the art of distraction. Is that the right expression? I think so. Because the rest of my makeup just didn't really go to plan. I think I did my foundation too soon after my moisturizer. Um, I used my usual Bare Minerals foundation, but I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It just didn't go on very well today. Um, and I just spent the past half an hour on the phone to dwell customer services. So back in February, this is, this is going to be really boring, by the way. So if you don't like boring chats, then skip forward probably two minutes, but we ordered a sofa, a footstool, and a chair for the Chiswick flat back in February. <laughs> and obviously it got delayed because of Corona, fine, but I mean, it's nearly a year later now. <laughs> and they finally booked in the furniture delivery for the day that Charlie and I drove to Chiswick last week. That's the whole reason why we drove to Chiswick was to accept the furniture delivery Typically, the delivery slot that we were given was between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. Great, when you live two hours away from the property. So we got up at five o'clock in the morning, drove to London, but I did email them and I said, look, please make it more towards the 9 a.m. part of this delivery slot because we are driving there for two hours. We're having to leave home at 5 a.m. and if we're a little bit late, I would not want to miss it. When did it arrive? 6.50. 6.50 was when we get the call saying, hi, we're at your property. I was like, oh, did you not get my message? I did say we're not going to be there till closer to like eight or nine. No, no. And we can only wait here 10 minutes. So they only waited until 7 a.m. We must have got there at about 20 past seven, but they'd already gone and they weren't willing to come back and um, bring back the stuff. So I've just been <laughs> on the phone to customer services, um, they're charging me a re-delivery fee. You could argue, yes, it is my fault for not being there at 7 a.m. on the dot, and they can't guarantee that they will do a later slot next time. So we might have this whole problem all over again. Oh dear, oh dear. I know it's not the biggest problem in the world, it's just one of life's little inconveniences, so we shall see. And typically they don't have any slots available in the next week to deliver, because that would have been great, because Rory and Nathan are staying at Chiswick, so they could have seen it in. But no, the earliest delivery slot that they have is the first day after Rory and Nathan leave. The stars are not aligned, we are not meant to have this furniture and now we're not even going to get to enjoy this furniture because as I've mentioned we're renting the flat out so our tenants are going to get to enjoy this furniture. Oh my goodness. Anyway, let's start the day on a more positive note. It's a very late start to the day. As I mentioned my editing took forever so it's already like 10 past 11. 
and all I've done so far is edit but I do want to drive to Dalesford shortly because Charlie and I are making up some picnic hampers we have very kindly been sent lots of hampers um, from brands lately we've been sending we've been saving the actual hampers and we are basically gonna be putting together some really lovely festive gift boxes for our delivery men our builders people that have really helped us this year so I'm gonna go and drive to Dalesford now um, and also buy some little goodies like candles, mince pies, um, you know, nice things like that to put in the hampers as well as some things which I have bought from local businesses like the Broadway Press um, Ciders, the Burford Candle Company Winter Market Candles. I've been buying loads of nice things from local companies. So that is the plan for this morning. I'm gonna show you my lipstick though, just in case you like it. I have to say I'm not very confident wearing red lipstick i normally don't make a statement with my lips at all and sometimes i think it can look a little bit harsh like in this lighting here <laughs> i don't think it looks that good because i'm obviously quite pale at the moment but it is from the hourglass this is one of those lipsticks that you can refill you know you can choose the different colors so i've got quite a nude one in there but in my refill container it is this beautiful sorry i'm gesticulating at the camera the red is called At Dusk, so that is my festive red. I think I need to see if they do a, and obviously you can, you could either just pop that in your handbag by itself, which would be quite convenient for a little festive clutch bag, or you can pop it in this, which is the more, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. The more lovely way of presenting it is in this, and then you can just mix and match, which is great. Hourglass also very kindly sent me their new um, palette. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Sculpture Palette. It looks really beautiful and I have been using the blush. It is so, so nice. Just has the most beautiful glow to it. And then these shades at the top are great for a powder. I just kind of mix across all of them. A powder which also gives you an amazing glow. I just love it at this time of year. I feel like I want to do everything possible to get a little bit more of a glow to my skin. <laughs> I'm only leaving the house to go to Dalesford today, but the the base of my makeup is all bare minerals, so I feel like I don't I don't ever feel guilty for wearing makeup, especially when I've got lots of bare minerals on because it is actually doing good to my skin. If anything, I don't feel like I'm clogging my pores. Same with by Terry. Okay. <sighs> And my final addition to my outfit this morning is my Casio watch. You will have seen me, ooh. Oh, I thought I, I thought the plastic was on the face of it then, but it's just super, super shiny. So you'll have seen me wearing this in pretty much all of my latest vlogs. Here's a little close up, if my camera would like to show you. This is my, um, my lovely champagne gold Casio watch. Sorry, the focus is not having a really good time right now. This is my Casio watch from their vintage icons collection. It is so beautiful. It's got, um, it's got like a, pearlized face to it so i've i've actually got a couple i'll show you another one um downstairs in a second I'm trying to multitask talking and putting a watch on it's not going very well there we go so it has the most beautiful mother of pearl um watch face i don't know if you can see that and there's something a little bit kind of throwback vibes about this watch i said in my video a couple of weeks ago my very first casio watch was my baby G and I know when I put that on my Instagram stories I had so many messages saying oh my god were you even a cool kid at school if you didn't have a baby G watch but Charlie was saying that he had one like this but it actually had like a calculator face on it and then I realized that I don't know if um, any of you guys had this in school as well but you had to have that like brick of a Casio calculator for your maths exams so yeah, all the throwback, but this is this is my favorite one from their Vintage Icons collection. It's a really lovely champagne gold, which I feel is the perfect color because 
I do wear a real mixture of jewellery, so you can see my rings here, it's white enamel, um, and then the little diamonds which makes it look quite silvery, and then I've got my Raimi ring on which is gold, my engagement ring is platinum, so it's a real mixture. Um, but I don't really care about being too mix and matchy, so the watch being this beautiful champagne colour, I feel it just works with everything, and I think the pearl, mother of pearl face just makes it a little bit more glamorous, you can by the way, um, illuminate the screen like so. There's obviously so many technical watches you can get right now that will track your calories, track your sleep, track your heart rate. This watch tells the time. <laughs> I know, groundbreaking, but I have to tell you, for me it's more of an accessory, it's more of like the finishing touch to my outfit. I just think it looks really, really lovely. I do think of it more as a piece of jewellery. But I have to say, now that... <laughs> You guys are going to think this is really tragic because I know that a watch telling the time is not groundbreaking, but I find that I don't check my phone as much when I have a watch on because half the time when I check my phone, I'm looking to see what the time is and then I'm like, ooh, a notification, and then I'll just get sucked down a rabbit hole. So that is <laughs> the number one reason for wearing a watch. But yeah, I think it is. I think it's really, really lovely. I'm very happy to be working with Casio again to show you these beautiful watches. If you are thinking of gifting someone a lovely watch for Christmas, I think this is a really nice option. I will leave a couple of my other favorites um, linked down below. There's one which is like a pure gold color, which I do have downstairs. I'm gonna show you in a second. They also have some really cool, slightly more masculine. I mean, Charlie's one is pretty much this, but in more of a, like a yellowy gold, so I'd say they are all pretty unisex. It's also very slim fitting, so even if I'm wearing a really tight piece of knitwear, it doesn't create this big bulge on my wrist, it's really comfortable. I just think it is really, really lovely. It's a very nice finishing touch to my outfit. So that is my timepiece of choice. The rest of my outfit of the day, I just have this lovely cozy roll neck on from Reese. It's actually kind of like a hoodie. It's quite sporty in its style. That's another thing about this. It's very versatile. So when I'm wearing a casual outfit like today, literally sweaty betty leggings, wool and cashmere kind of hoodie. It looks perfect with an outfit like this because it's not too um, statement, it's not too, like there's no blingy design details about it. The mother of pearl is just really subtle, very feminine, but then equally if you wanted to wear it with something a little bit smarter, like a nice dress, it's so simple and timeless in its design that it just, it just goes with everything. So I have been a big, big fan of this. And I've just realized it's water resistant as well. So maybe I don't need to take it off when I'm washing the dogs as I have done in the past. It's also got the date on there, not just telling the time. It lets you know what day of the week it is as well. And that's the doorbell. Yippoo! Hello! Sorry, it's taken me a while to get down the Our postman waits a grand total of 10 seconds before leaving a missed delivery slip, so I always have to run downstairs to try and catch him. He actually did put one through the door and I was like, no, stop, I'm here. So I got it. And the delivery was this lovely collection of goodies from Anissa's new brand. So she has launched a collection of jewelry and hair accessories. If you don't follow Anissa on Instagram, I will pop it down below because I mean, absolute hair goals. <laughs> if I could have anyone's hair, it would be hers. It's so beautiful. So she has got a collection of hair accessories, including this marvelous pearl bobble, which I'm actually gonna pop in right now. Or do I wanna pop in this one? Maybe this would look rather fabulous with my red lip. Um, and then some beautiful jewellery. I chose these pearl pieces. So this like twisted rope um, hoop with the pearls. And then these very, very elegant little pearl drops. Very, very exciting and lovely to see so many influencers launching their own brands this year. Thank you, Anissa, for sending these over. It is lunchtime and we have got loads of leak in the house from our weekend um, veg box. So I'm just checking for some Thermomix recipes. I'm definitely craving some pasta. So I think I'm gonna do this ham and leek um, pasta sauce in the Thermomix, but I might whack in a load of Parmesan as well because why the heck not? I'm using the Samsung Galaxy tablet. It is very handy to have in the kitchen for cooking and things like that. Also a really good big screen for watching Netflix on. I also will um, watch my YouTube videos on this. So often while I'm cooking, I will pop on 
a YouTube video to keep me company while I cook. Okay, let's watch Naomi's sustainable Christmas gift guide. Oh, oh, oh. La, 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 la. Oh, oh, la, 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 la. Oh, oh, Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. By the way, if you watched my video yesterday um, where I was talking all about the Thermix, this is the rind of the Parmesan that normal graters can't grate, but the Thermomix, because the blades are so powerful, um, can grate the rind of a Parmesan, which for chefs and people that eat a lot of cheese, actually saves you so much money, because Parmesan is really expensive, but yeah, this is a part of the cheese that often goes to waste, whereas it is completely edible, so you can just pop it in the Thermomix and Wears it up and it is perfectly usable. I've actually already got enough for today, so I'm gonna pop it back in here. Ready for next time. I never skip the ads when I'm watching fellow content creators vlogmases because I feel like it doesn't take anything out of my day, especially if I'm multitasking. But then the creator can get the full ad revenue, which is a nice little Christmas gift from me to them. You take that 10p, Zoella. Enjoy it. Don't spend it all at once. I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg into the pasta sauce just to make it feel a little bit festive. No idea how this will turn out, but we shall see. So this is just my usual kind of creamy pasta sauce, milk, butter, flour, and I've added parmesan and nutmeg and leek. Isn't this how it is supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh. So here we have my finished luncheon. I'm using this lovely little handmade bowl. Dickens, <laughs> sorry if you just heard Dickens burping in the background. Um, yeah, this bowl is handmade by one of my subscribers. It is one of the companies that I featured in my um, small business Christmas gift guide. I would check out that video now if you haven't done already because I feel like we're probably coming very close to the last ordering dates before Christmas. Um, but yeah, I love this bowl. It's perfect for a lunch because it's not very big at all. If you compare it to like the size of my hand, it's not a huge bowl. So we've got, I think this is called Orecchiette Pasta with a creamy leek and parmesan sauce. And I am hungry. To the same old, I'm so boring. Oh, I need to put some moisturizer on. Ah, oh, okay. How is my lipstick faring after lunch? Doesn't look too bad actually. I'm gonna try just not topping this up um, and seeing how it goes. Just had a couple of knocks at the door, a couple of deliveries. First of which is this lovely new palette. This is the VIP Expert Paris Mon Amour palette from By Terry. I just love that packaging. How lovely does that look? And the most beautiful, very warm, shades inside now i have got green eyes so for me these are the perfect colors some really lovely golds for festive eyes some very warm kind of ambers and burgundy shades what a lovely palette and i love all the parisian um sites embossed in there you've got the eiffel tower you've got the i don't know what it's called the kind of ferris wheel you've even got the arc de triomphe and the by terry store <laughs> that is so lovely and speaking of French brands, we have just had a delivery from L'Occitane. I haven't got a clue what is in here. Often I watch people's Instagram stories and I see people unboxing stuff and then I get it and I'm like, oh, well, the supply surprise has been ruined because I've just watched someone else unbox it, but I have genuinely got no idea what is in here. Ooh. Oh my goodness, it is a L'Occitane mulled wine. What a lovely idea. Oh my goodness. Fun fact, I feel like I've said that so much today and none of these facts are actually very fun. <laughs> I hate red wine, but I love mulled wine. I don't know how that works. Maybe it's the subconscious, this is a festive treat, you must enjoy it. But either way, 
I won't think about it too much. I will just enjoy it. Then we have this little box here tied with a yellow ribbon. What a beautiful card. This is their DIY cracker kit. This is amazing. Dear Josie, welcome to our reusable cracker workshop. We also gift you with our coveted overnight reset collection. Yes, that's amazing because we just finished ours. So you can enjoy a little pamper. Wishing you and your family a magical festive season with love, Jenny, Poppy, and all at Loxatan. So there's some instructions here on how to make the reusable cracker. They have popped in the most beautiful ribbon. Oh my goodness, it's this like taupe velvet ribbon with a J embellished in it. I might actually use this for the wreath on our door and use a different ribbon for the crackers because this is exactly what we were looking for. If it's if there's enough there, I'm sure there is, there's loads. Then we have these little tubes and I'm guessing this is gonna be like the inner bit of the cracker. The actual snapping bits. Then we have some amazing little L'Occitane minis. This is the Immortelle Divine Cream, for example. So lovely to get some little minis to put in your crackers. I think this is even, how lovely, what a gorgeous idea. Little packets of seeds, We've got some lavender seeds, rose seeds, how gorgeous. And there's one more thing in here. I guess this will be the Immortelle collection, yes. I actually worked at L'Occitane, I think it was, was it last year or the year before, on the launch of the Immortel Oilin Reset Serum. We had an event in the L'Occitane flagship store on um, Regent Street and it was so, so lovely. It was probably the first time I'd properly met loads of you guys at one time and I was so blown away by how lovely everybody was. It was so, so nice to meet so many of you. I'd love to do something like that again after dreaded Corona, but yes, this is the full reset collection amazing thank you very much to the loxitan team now in 10 minutes i have got a an online kind of virtual hello bunny did you wonder what that smell was oh i've got a virtual shopping experience with selfridges so every year they're very known for their elfridges service and you can go into the store and have like a personal shopper help you find your gifts but it's obviously harder to go in store this year, so what they're doing is making it virtual. So I have got a virtual gifting experience that I was invited to try out by Selfridges. So I'm gonna make myself a coffee. My little baby. And then log in for my virtual personal shopping. I have never known a little boy to love their mummy as much as this little boy loves his mummy. Look. Is that you, Lynn? P.S. I definitely have something really wrong with my wrist. Look at that lump. How weird is that? That is not normal. couple of hours later now I had my virtual shopping with Selfridges it was really really good actually they um I had like a pre phone call with the girls there and explained what kind of thing I was looking for and then they made some really really good gift suggestions so I did actually order a couple of things so very much looking forward to those arriving it's a really good service actually if you can't make it into the store or if you are just short on time and want a shopping expert to help you I'll leave a link to where you can do it um down below i am now just snuggled up on the sofa with my two little boys <laughs> and i'm watching a christmas film actually i don't know what it's called let's have a look it is called the christmas chronicles part two goodness knows what happened to part one but it's just a very silly and cute christmas film so i'm watching that while sending some invoices yes i'm feeling like I just want to get all of my boring admin stuff done today. It's so misty outside. I don't know if I am going to leave home and go to Delsford in the end. I think it might actually be raining as well, but it's definitely the kind of afternoon that I just want to be inside 
with my boys. Look at that position that Dexter's in. <laughs> he is so rude. Dexy. It's every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside. We gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. My favorite holiday. It means so much more than words can say. And I claim Christmas is a magic day. Sometimes I tend to forget what glory this holiday represents. But it's fair to say that Christmas This film is absolutely crazy. <laughs> It has been great background entertainment while I have been doing my invoices, that is for sure. We've got Father Christmas that can do the splits, but happily ever after they managed to save Christmas, of course. <laughs> oh my goodness, look how miserable it is outside. Ew! Charlie and I have just come out to inspect the roof in the gym. It's almost dark outside, so we're having to look by torchlight, but it is looking really epic, so we've put in all of this reclaimed wood. We are getting the end wall. Do you know what, from a sustainability point of view, this is brilliant as well, because you know a lot of this wood has just got burnt. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's become really fashionable, obviously. Mm. It, it would just get burnt. And that end wall that you can see the torch on now is getting shot blasted next week. So it's going to be cleaned up this week. Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, great. So it's going to get cleaned up and then we're going to get some really cool industrial lights on that wall there. We've got to decide. So this wall, it will get shot blasted. So it'll be red brick again. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll, we'll seal it with a brick sealer. But we've got to decide, do we want to, this beam here, which is a new beam, He's going to shot blast it to make it look a bit older. Okay. But I wonder if we'll stain it or something to make it a bit more like these beans. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because it stands out a bit and it will be visible. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking if I get a salty spray, you spray it on these and it rusts them up. Okay. Yeah. And then we're getting the proper kind of gym floor installed in a couple of weeks. Well, he, he said he could install it next week, but obviously we need the wiring done before. So my next uh. thing after we've done this is I'm going to call the electrician to see if he can come later this week to get the other stuff done. Amazing. Um, but it's looking really, really cool. It's going to be epic in here. And then this wall is going to be all reclaimed wood as well. Two massive mirrors. Yeah, two awesome mirrors that so we're looking at. So then I think if, if we can get your peloton in here with the Wi-Fi working, mm. I reckon your peloton will live up in here. And in the morning you roll it out and you can have it right here so you look out. That's and awesome. Have all that view. And then the row machine, ski machine will all live here as well. Mm -hmm. And then I think this area here with the red brick will be more the weights area. And we've got to decide whether we want to put, it's arriving tomorrow, the beaver fit thing. It's arriving tomorrow? Yeah. Epic. You can move it round, it's heavy, but you can move it so it doesn't get bolted in. So we've got to decide. Part of me thought it would be quite cool to have it in the middle of the room, but then it eats into your... Mm -hmm. So I think it needs to probably, to start with, we'll have it this corner here. And then, because I think this... Well, you might want to put it in that corner if that's getting shot blasted. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, when it gets delivered, everything is going to need to be removed now. Mm. Look what an eerie day it is We're today. We're going to have to move all this over to a month's probably before they shot blast it. Get... Yeah. Look at the mist on the fields. We have got some Thermomix homemade goodies that we're delivering to Father David and some of our neighbours on the lane. <laughs> I feel like this is the kind of day that murder mysteries could be filmed at our house. And we need to, um, Joe, any recycling, because of course all the bins can go out. So I'll take them out shortly. Exciting. Oh, it's cold. You can feel like ice particles in the mist, can't you? There's a little dog there, of course. Mm -hmm. 
today has been a day of deliveries. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to show you the armchair which has just arrived for the loft bedroom because hopefully tomorrow we're also getting the bed frame and mattress so that room is gonna be transformed tomorrow. These are two bedside tables that we ordered absolutely ages ago from the French bedroom company but a lot of things come to order so um, yeah it was a good couple of months ago. Yeah, and what else has arrived today? Oh, our new fridge freezer that we ordered from AO.com. Um, that has been delivered to the carport so that we have plenty of storage for Christmas and just a little bit of extra freezer space for things like dog food. Now you have got a little red mark on your forehead from where mummy has been kissing you. You silly monkey, you silly, silly monkey. Well, how lovely is this? So this week's arena flowers delivery is actually not a bunch of flowers. Well, it is because we have the amazing bouquet as well. And actually last week's bouquet is still doing really well. So I need to spread them out a little bit. Um, but this week they also sent a Christmas tree. How fun is this? So it's one of these little mini spruces. Mine's got a bit of a lean on. Hopefully I can train him to go the right way up. They also sent a little battery pack of lights and some mini baubles. How cute is that? Yeah, mine has definitely got a bit of a wonk on. <laughs> but I'm gonna find a cute little place for this tree to live. And they even sent a little star to go on top. My cute little wonky tree. <laughs> I'm gonna try something a little bit rogue. I have got half a cup of, oh, <laughs> oh dear. Half a cup of my cinnamon latte left and I'm just gonna add some hot chocolate into it. Just made a Dalesford hot chocolate in my velvetizer. But I didn't want the cinnamon latte to go to waste. So maybe this will be like a cinnamon chocolate mocha, that kind of thing, I'm not sure. I just thought we would do something a little bit different. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm gonna take this upstairs and show you guys today's giveaway prize. Mmm! That is very, very good. Yummy. Mm. Vamos. That's the best hot drink I've ever made. Honestly, third of a cup cinnamon latte, two thirds of the cup Dalesford hot chocolate. That is divine. Okay, so just popping in to the pink bedroom because we have now put up the bedside tables that we undid earlier. I hate to say it, but the lamps, the lamps are ruining it for me. Can you guess who chose those? Here's a clue, his name starts with Ch and ends in Ali, mm-hmm. Yeah, very strange choice of lamps, but the bedside tables look absolutely gorgeous. They are pretty big, um, and the funny thing is, you know when you have guests over, they don't really use bedside tables, do they? They don't really use the drawers, but hey-ho, it's nice for our guests to have somewhere to pop their phones and all of their essentials when they are staying, our future guests. 2021 is going to be the year of us having people to stay because, my goodness, we have spent so long getting all of these rooms nice and cosy. I think this area looks really nice as well. So we've got a lovely Happy Mind, Happy Life neon candle. I love this one. It's kind of pinky on the outside, but then metallic on the inside, and it's just so, so beautiful. 
But yeah, the bedside tables are great. I just definitely think we need new lamps in here because they're just very peculiar. I think it would look nice to get some really cute, quite old fashioned, um, like vintage looking, maybe even floral to match the cushions with little tassels on them. Just something very, very cute. But yeah, I think the bedside tables look really, really lovely. I was worried they were going to be a bit big, but actually they're almost the perfect size for the panelling. Charlie hasn't put them in quite centrally, but if you see the kind of hole in the panelling, um, the bedside tables are that kind of size. You can see how epic this mattress is. This is a vice spring mattress and oh, it is so, so, so comfortable. Any future guests are going to have an amazing night's sleep in here. Okay, my darlings, today's giveaway prize is, this sounds like a drum roll, dun dun dun, oh my goodness, it is a beautiful, 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 so let me just move my half-drunk cinnamon mocha hot chocolate, the most beautiful classic bag from Aspinall, so this is their kind of camera bag shape, it is such a practical shape and size, perfect for fitting in all your essentials. Got the A for Aspen on the front there. I love the hardware on these bags. They are just such beautiful quality. This can be used, do you know what? You could actually use this just as like a little makeup bag or a clutch bag or a travel wallet documents bag, such a practical size. But then in here you do also have the shoulder strap. I'm gonna leave it all perfectly packaged up for you. So for this, you have to have spotted Fenella not only today, but yesterday as well. When I was filming yesterday's Fenella clip, I thought it was really hard, but then when editing, it was really, really easy. So I'm sure there'll be loads of um, entrance for this and as always please do make sure you are subscribed and if you have other social media you can boost your chances by sharing my vlogs on your instagram stories you can even share on facebook on twitter i personally don't actually use twitter anymore but my assistant will be checking um to see the entries there as well so don't worry your entry will not be lost but yeah really excited for one of you to win this aspinall bag before christmas and what day are we on now okay i think as i'm filming this it's the Seventh. So we have got four more days of giveaways after today and then I'll be doing a massive trip to the post office to hope that all of you will receive your lovely goodies before Christmas. It just gives it that real sort of like interest to the basics that you're wearing. This looks great. It almost looks like the scarf is actually part of the jumper as well. have just been witnessing me cook is a little bit of an experiment this evening. Um, as usual, I just looked in the fridge to see what we had and we had lots of carrots, we had lots of cauliflower and then I thought, you know what, those ingredients work really well in a slightly more um, Eastern Indian kind of recipes. So I turned to my book, Mira Soda's East book. This is what Charlie got me for my birthday and <laughs> would you actually believe this is the page that I opened it on and I just looked at the picture, looked at the ingredients list and thought, yep, that will do. So, ah, do you know what? I've just realised it's called Piccalilli Spiced Rice and I didn't put any Piccalilli in here. What even is Piccalilli? Is that an ingredient by itself? You wouldn't like it. It's like, uh, it's like a pickle. Oh, well, there is no Piccalilli in my Piccalilli Spiced Rice. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway... That's really weird that that's the name because am I being blind here? I cannot see piccalilli on this ingredients list. So you but, can make piccalilli. Well, I didn't. I think the only ingredient that I actually missed out here were the chilies. Um, and actually, we didn't have any green beans. But other than that, I have pretty much followed this recipe. So we have got um, rice with like onion, um, black mustard seed, cumin. I put some sultanery bits in as well, just because I thought that would work really well. And then they said to cook this in almost like a stir fry fashion, but I thought I would mix it with a little bit of the technique. I don't think it's worked actually, but never mind. Um, 
for the Persian rice, so I did try to bake it on the bottom for the last 10 minutes, but I don't think it's um, crispy enough, but never mind. And then in the aga, we have got some cauliflower shawarma just finishing off. Yeah, it was a little bit of um, a pull it all together dinner, but hopefully it'll be nice and tasty. dinner was a success. Charlie and I have taken to watching- oh hang on, these are the best bits. I've got one for you today. Oh, that. It's very funny. <clears throat> Do you want to know? Knock knock. Who's there? Ronnie. Ronnie who? Ronnie Barker. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny if Ronnie Barker came to Who's Ronnie Barker? He's a comedian, but it's not a funny joke. That's the <laughs> Okay, that wasn't the best example, but usually at the end of each episode of Vicar of Dibley, they do a joke and it is normally very, very funny and often quite rude, but Charlie and I have started re-watching all the old, and they're so old, it's before TVs or widescreen. Screen? <laughs> Wide Dibley. Screen. Is Dibley a real place in Oxfordshire? No, it's probably meant to be like Barbara or something. But anyway, if you're not from the UK, you may not have watched The Vicar of Dibley before, but it, yeah, it's so old, it's not even widescreen. It's funny, it's not hilarious, but it's just <laughs> easy to watch, isn't it? Yeah, the, the picture is still in square. Just oh, nice like, course. you know, if you want some really easy viewing while you're having your dinner, then it's quite good for that. So it's set in a very small town in Oxfordshire and you get all the silly village characters, the farmer, the vicar, the lord of the manor. So it's just idiot. the village idiot. Yeah, that's Dicky, my baby. So that is what we are watching now and nothing else exciting is going to happen this evening. So I'm going to end today's vlog here. Thank you very much for watching, darlings. I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Good enough.